Hey everybody, welcome to the Toy Car Collector. It's time for another Redline Liberation. That's Redline Liberation. That means taking original Redlines from the 60s and early 70s and ripping those suckers right out of the blister pack like they were meant to be done about, what, 47 years ago or something? So it's Redline Liberation. The date is November 25th, 2015. I'm sorry I haven't had any of these for like three months to open. It's crazy. I've got to get on this and get some more of those. But you are at the toycarcollector.com. Now in my 25th year of monthly catalogs, I buy and sell Hot Wheels and Matchbox toys from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And I've been doing it for almost 25 years. Now you can email me, David, at toycarcollector.com or toycarcollector at gmail.com. Remember, I buy Redline Hot Wheels 1967 to 1977, and you can call me, David Williamson, and you can call me, oops, there's my fingerprint on there, call or text 503-956-3708. That's 503-956-3708. That's right, 503-956-3708, Pacific Time. Now what you see here today may, may or may not be available for sale on my website, but to check out everything that I add, uh, including really nine cool cars today that you just won't believe, but everything added starts out featured on my What's New page, which you can access from the main menu, upper left corner of the main menu on the first page of my site at toycarcollector.com. Or you can just type in this address right here, toycarcollector.com slash new underscore cars dot htm. And someday I'm going to make that a little easier to access. But for now, it is toycarcollector.com slash new cars with an underscore dot htm now i like i said there are going to be 10 blister packs today ending with this one number 10 and this one number nine number eight coming to you right there number seven you know this is a lot of fun for me right number six ten nine eight seven six number five Number four. Now these are in various stages of damage, generally speaking. Number four. Number, no, number, what? Three, two, and number one. I don't want you to get all excited and see them right away. I like to pull them out one by one and, and then open those things up. Let's arrange the lamp here. Make sure I'm in the mood to, I gotta do this in one take. I don't have any video editing skills, so I just have to do this. And it has to work out right the first time. And that's how that works. Let's see, I might want to, do I want to move in or move out? Okay, I'm going to start. Now, I've arranged these in the least valuable to the most valuable. But every one of these blister packs, I guarantee you, cost me over $100. Some of them, one of them, I think, cost $300. But I'm going to open them up because these cars need to be out of these packages. And they need to be out of there now. So let's scoot them back a little bit. All right, get ready. got my hands ready. I been using some chemicals lately so my hands look terrible there they are all right number 10 let's get this thing started number 10 is a blue oh that's real pretty that is a blue 1970 peeping bomb u.s made nice shiny blue paint and uh, base is not shiny but i like to call it blue it's a perfect mint and blister pack base it's just not shiny all right so we just get this party started we'll open this puppy up some people suggested i uh, open these things up with acetone apparently you can put acetone on the back of the package and release the glue oh look at that now we're focused in sometimes i gotta tap the screen to focus maybe i need to get up a little closer into the lights and get this all arranged so you can really get a good look at that that's a pretty car Blue Peeping Bomb. That is a pretty one. I think I had that one. I had that actually for sale in the blister. But, you know, people don't really want to buy damaged blisters like this. So when you buy them, they're generally suitable for opening. And then there's the button. I like the buttons. All right. That's number one. Number two today is... Oh, I just got this one in. It's a McLaren, and uh, it was supposed to be red. Turns out to be rose, which is good. It's got to come out of that package because although the package is not really beat up, it's just got a lot of negatives going on. It's uh, kind of grungy looking. It's got a little scar up there. The car itself has got rubs on the back here from this cracked area, and uh, that wheel is not very good looking. But I think once it's out of the package, it might be all right, and you get that nice button in there. 
nice and fresh. And of course, the uh, sticker sheet on the back, which are very desirable. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, hey, ho, oh, ho. Well, it's not perfect on top, but look at that shiny base. For you shiny base collectors, I know there's a bunch of you out there. I'm one of them. I love a shiny base. For some reason, I have this feeling that if you get like a dull base, that whatever made that thing dull is creeping around. Oh, wow, that was weird. I put the blue towel in front of the screen, and it really screwed with the color. And then inside this, we also have a beautiful mint sticker sheet. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. You know, I was going to try to record this in 4K today and really go upscale, but uh, I'm afraid I only have enough memory for about a five-minute video, and I kind of like to make my videos... I like to make them 30 minutes. I like to make them 30 minutes. No commercials to speak of. And there's the McLaren. We'll put that there. I guess we'll just put these... How should we do this? Let's put that there. Put that there. Pretty nice. I should do that in my display case. Okay, so we got another package there. All opened up. That was number two. Here comes number three. And it is... Oh, shoo. Scooby-Doo. Mantis. Mantis. From the Nichols store. Two for a dollar. On a good day. Wish that was today. Can't even buy new ones for two for a dollar. But, all right. Here we go. That was an easy, easy open. All right. Got a nice button. Take that package back. Nice minty button, not turned over, and a beautiful mantis in rose. Got a few dark spots on there, but look at that glow. <laughs> look at that base. You know, when you collect these cars that have the chrome that comes up the sides, you pretty much got to have shine. Got to have some shine. There's enough shine on that base that makes me uh, not not be too sad about the dark spots because. You know, overall, that's a nice that's a nice deal. That's a nice car. Everybody loves cars like that. That's three. All right, number four. Number four is in a half-cut package, and it is a twin mill. Twin mill seems to be kind of common in purple. I was taking a chance on this one, thinking that the color looked really good and the motors looked real nice, and so I went ahead and bought this in the half-pack. All right, take the half-pack off, and here you go. Beautiful twin mail with a little dust on it. Let me just pull it back here in the background and take this off. Now, this is November 25th, the day before Thanksgiving, and I really need to get ready to cook that turkey. But I want to make this video. I've had a lot of people ask me for a new Liberation Redline video. I get a lot of good comments on it, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I enjoy making them. And got about, I think, 72 videos this year. 72 videos this year. And next year, I'm going to make even more. Or at least the same amount. Okay, that was four. Number five, number five. Number five is a purple 36 Ford Coupe. Now, this package is really hashed. I mean, this is about, this I think is about as bad as you can possibly imagine. Look at that thing. Might have been folded up and put in a I don't know how it got how does it get that bad yeah some I like damage and I've always been one of those kids that took care of everything kind of unusual kind of the weird kid in the neighborhood probably when I was a young man I had my matchbox toys and I took real good care of them and had a few hot wheels not too many I got a little uh, bent wheel on this puppy right here now that's a serious situation there because that comes right out of the car bent down Oh, look at that. We got corrosion on the base of this puppy. That's not desirable. But it still looks good. I don't know about this wheel. So I might have to try to straighten that out. Should I do it right now? I could try to do it right now. I take my little finger. Oh, I can't even get the thing off. Oh, pull that wheel off like that. Oh, that was hard. And then I take my Hot Wheels thingy. My Hot Wheels wrench. Now, this has kind of got a weird bend to it. It's not like it's just bent down. It's actually... Yeah, yeah, you know, it's actually coming out of the car a little bent down, and then, uh, and then, so we're not going to be completely straight. Okay, usually you can get your finger in there. If not, a little uh, needle nose plier action works pretty good, and that gets that wheel off of there. Now, there's some cars you don't want to pull the wheels off of because you run a really good chance of busting them. You know, busting that hub off there, that little white piece. And uh, especially the Hong Kong pieces like the heavy Chevy. And, and any time you got a real expensive car, just go ahead and 
cut the wheel off really I just cut the wheel off on some of them and uh, that's the way we go all right moving on apparently I, I uh, put my uh, camera in the uh, 60p mode 1080p 60 frames per second and in that mode I can only go 10 minutes at a shot so I will have to weave my three 10 minute pieces together but YouTube takes care of that for me because, like I said, I don't do any editing. All right, let's see. That kind of threw me off my game. Okay, got to get back in the game. Get back in the game. Come on. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Gosh, I can't believe I'm halfway there already. I might have to slow down some. All right, let's see. Oh, did I mention that I got those wheels straightened out? Pretty good. Yeah, this one's uh, this one's nice. Got a little corrosion on there. I don't know what I'd do about that. I'll just leave that, make a notation about that. All right. That's five. Number six today is, oh, look at this. White enamel Ford J car, the Hong Kong version. I'm working on putting together a couple of sets of original 16 Hong Kong versions. And in order to do that, you're going to need a Hong Kong uh, Ford J car. And that's with the blue, blue windows and then the body that comes up around halfway. And, uh, Oh, look at that. There's the Hong Kong sticker sheet. Nice. I wonder if that, you know, that would look good on there. I wonder if I should put that sticker sheet on. Hmm. All right, I'm going to pull this out. Pull this out. I never was a big fan of the stickers, but you know, if, when they're not done right, they don't look very good. But when they are done right, they look fantastic. Really fantastic. But uh, I'm not sure if they stick. What do you think? You think this sticker sheet would still stick? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, look at that. There's the green card. Why in the world? I guess they thought green would look good against the white. And we got the button or J card button. It's kind of a harder button to get at times. At times, I've been running out of good buttons. You know, it's hard to get buttons that aren't damaged. Let's see. I'll put that right there. And the sticker sheet over here. And let's take a look at this white car. Let me wipe it off just a little bit. Not too rough on this white enamels because it's always like some paint that might want to come off. But that looks good, huh? That looks good. See the white and that, well, the Ford J car, Hong Kong. So let's see that. They're not put together very well. Look at that. That wheel's all jammed up in there. Got the black on the back. That's pretty neat. It's a neat car. Looks like the base. Is, I don't know. It's kind of, I wonder if they always sit down like that. You see that? I wonder if they always sit down like that. Can't really tell too much. I don't get too many of these. White enamels. There's also a red which I have in a blister, which is really cool. All right, so that's six, and we have four more to do. Now, the last one I'm going to do is a car that I've always wanted loose, and I've always wanted it mint, so I'm going to have one. Now, remember, let's see. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know that movie stopping? That really threw me off. Remember, I buy Redline Hot Wheels, and my name is David at ToyCarCollector.com. This is Redline Liberation, November 25th, so continuing on. That was just a time. I was just trying to use a little bit of time there. Okay, because I want this movie to be... Ah, I don't even know if I can make it to 30 minutes. Maybe I'd have to add something. What could I add? Uh, hey, let's see. I could open this. Whoa. Um, mm, <clears throat> try Baby Red. No, actually, that's something that's for sale right now. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Oh, another purple twin mail. Holy smokies. And what about this over here? Let's look at some things. Oh, golly. Brown Lola. Oh, I would like to open that, but look at that package. It's nice. I just upgraded my Brown Lola. That was my old one I've had for years. You know, a lot of cars I've had in my collection for 20 plus years. I can't remember the first time I got a major uh, Redline collection, but I bought them. Oh, yellow. Look at that. That's pretty. Actually, I sold that already. And this is a purple Lotus Turbine. These are just sitting here by my desk. Oh, what's this up there? No, let's let's get back to it. Okay. Yeah, the first big red line collection I bought came from Tennessee. Tennessee. It was 300 cars, 150 red lines, 150 black walls. And that was back in like 1990 something. Early. All right. Number seven. Eight, nine, ten. Number seven. All right. Here it is. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Wow. Do you mind if I whistle a little bit? This thing is amazing. I sh oh, you know, I really shouldn't take this out of the package, but, but, oh my God. You know, it just doesn't, sitting in that package, I mean, it looks okay. 
You know what I mean? You're looking at it, right? It looks okay, but I think this car is going to look phenomenal out of the package. Ah, which makes me think. Oh, and there's the sticker sheet. Hong Kong. Okay. Oh, it comes out so easy. Ooh, shiny base. I'm happy. Day before Thanksgiving. I know what I'm thankful for. Oh, crap. Look at that right off the bat. Do you notice? You notice that? Can you see that? The base is bent right there. See where my thumb is? That happens. Look at that. It's kind of sticking down there. That's eh, not the end of the world, but you just uh, make a note of that. I just have to make a note of that. Look at that. The base is bent. But oh my, my. Oh my, my. Look at that. That's pretty. Not a chocolate brown, but it's a deep brown. Now, I'm not going to wipe on this because one thing about Ferraris from Hong Kong, they have like the sandy, speckly looking paint like on the back there and you rub over that too hard and some of those are gonna pop. But just take that in for a moment and see how beautiful that is. How's it go with the white enamel? Kind of clash? Let's see, what would that go good with rose? What do you think, rose and brown? Mm -hmm. I don't know, what, what color would go good with brown? Purple. Oh, yeah, purple and brown. You know, it's really hard to collect Hot Wheels in brown. There are just not that many of them. They are just not that many brown cars. And there's not that many orange cars. So, if you get a chance, keep an eye out for brown. Keep an eye out for orange. One of the most expensive cars is a brown Camaro. Brown fleet sides. Well, actually, that's probably more expensive than a brown Camaro. Here's the uh, accessories that came with that car. That's a, I don't know if those would make it look better or not. Might make it look worse. I'll put this right here for you. Make it nice and pretty. That's seven. Is that seven? That's seven. I'll scoot this over for a second. All right. Seven beautiful cars. All right. Number eight. Number eight. Here it comes. Number eight. And number eight. Ooh, look at this package. This package has got like slime on it. Mold, mildew, water stains. I hate that. And it is a red Woody Wagon. This is one of the nastiest packages I've ever seen. So, of course, I have to buy it. And here we come. Red Woody Wagon. Pull her out. Red Woody Wagon. And the red Woody Wagon button. Put it over here. Oh, still, I wish I had. I should have got a button out for that twin mill so I can make these all match. Okay. Here we go. Red Woody Wagon. Looks like it's got a nick on the inside bit there. The roof line. It's got the, uh, oh dear, look at that roof. Now the roof is partially wrinkled and partially smooth. So it's a hybrid by, well, it'd be kind of silly to call it that, but you can see they kind of screwed that up a little bit at the factory. But she sure is pretty. She's a deep red. She's got, hmm, it's very deep. That is a deep red. I'm going to blow this one off. Got a little dust on it. Don't, don't forget to have your canned air. Get this at Costco. Electronics duster. Six packages for about 20 bucks. It's very handy. Very handy. I used to have my air compressor in the house, but I'd leave it on at night, and it would kick up in the middle of the night, wake my wife up. She wasn't too happy about that. So that's eight. Eight cars ripped from the original blister packs. And I've got two more. Two more to do. And they are really nice. By the way, here's something on the side of my desk here. Just sitting over here on my shelves. One of these days I'll have to show you how I built, have made these shelves. It's really cool. Anyway, Porsche in magenta. Just sitting over here on my desk. It's missing two tires. I had to put them on something else that I was shipping out. Oh, here's something cool. This is kind of an intermission for you. Look at this. I got this at the Hot Wheels convention this year. Very early Cougar. This is a very early Cougar. It has bubblegum wheels. Bubblegum wheels are rounded. They look very different than the regular deep dish wheels. Oh, look at that base. Oh my goodness, shiny. Anyway, it's a typical Hong Kong car with toning. It's got these typical little dings on the hood pipes from or the hood uh, vents from opening the hood but look at that it's painted tooth and bubble gum wheels isn't that pretty that's a pretty car got that at the convention late one night at the convention and got this out the other day 
somebody was bugging me for a purple woody which I had already sold and I thought about selling one of mine but no, it's kind of hard to part with something that's pretty oh that was the end of 20 minutes of video I got 10 more minutes to fill look at this and we were looking at the this woody and we're looking at this red Ferrari it's just sitting here I'm just looking at some of the stuff on my desk killing a little time while I get ready to open the final two blister packs final two blister packs here they come by the way if you collect new cars have you seen this pretty cool whoops it is a Nova and you can get that at the store right now if you're lucky and uh, let's see what else can you get at the store right now if you're lucky well you can get this Hudson Hornet Take your kids down there and get them some Hudson Hornet and get yourself a 41 Willys. Look at that. Yeah, all right. I collect some of those. Pretty cool. Oh, by the way, if you go down to Costco right now, you can get one of these. It's a little quadcopter. It's about 30 bucks. All right, back to opening blister packs. Oh, by the way, I just got this in. Hey, I thought about opening it. It's a antifreeze splitting image. Antifreeze splitting image. You know, it's kind of antifreeze it's really more of a lime bright so you know maybe it's not an antifreeze i got that over there and all right now last two blister packs uh, let's see what is this mm, oh i think you're gonna enjoy this all right all right you know not everybody can open a blister pack i'm fortunate in that i can open up blister packs because i have a lot of them and you know i buy and sell them and uh Upgrade. I have a small collection of red lines myself, and I'm always looking for an upgrade. And you know, sometimes you know what might what's in this package might be an upgrade for something that I already have, and then I can sell that, and everybody's happy, and I'm happy, and my wife's happy, and the stars are shining, and the moon comes out full, and there's bunnies and rabbits and unicorns all across the land okay all right that was a much wasted time okay here it is red custom volkswagen oh my god that's not red you fool it's rose actually i was looking for a red one thought this was a red one turns out to be a rose one which is even better one thing about rose colored cars is if i have 50 blister packs sitting on a display at a convention a hot wheels convention and i put one rose blister pack in there Everybody's gonna want to know. Hey, how much is that one? Hey, how much is that one? They're all gonna ask about the rose color car And this one's actually in a pretty good blister pack that could very well be left in that blister. It's not bad Not bad, but I really want to open this one. So I'm going to oh dear here it goes Oh Wow, all right, let's do this slow. Here comes the button custom Volkswagen Hong Kong button all right and then the card we'll pull that out all right and the car Ooh, look at that oh my oh yeah ooh, 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 ooh. It's, it's easy to get excited about these things i'm huh? gonna wipe it off a little bit with the blue rag i'm i can't put the blue rag in the screen because it messes up the color something fierce but there she is there she is Get a little closer, get a little focused here. Red, Rose, I think I was saying red again. Rose Custom Volkswagen. Look at that. She is a beauty. Oof. Wow. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Mm hmm. So pretty. So pretty. You know, every time I walk by a jewelry store and I see all those jewelry store display cases, I think, man, you know, Hot Wheels would look good in there because they are pretty. Wow. So now the question is, that is pretty. So if this is number nine and I've got one more blister pack to open, my gosh, what in the heck could possibly be in that last blister pack. All right, let's put this down. We'll put her down right there. You know, she'll go good, good with purple, you know, purple and rose, that goes good. Okay, so what could possibly be in that last blister pack? It has gotta be something good. And the package seems to be pretty good. It's a 1970 pack based on what it says on the back. 
Oh, you know, I've been waiting to open this. I, I think I've been waiting like, you know, it's been a while. It's been like two and a half months since I opened 10 blister packs. And geez, I had no idea it had been so long, almost three months. I have got to do this more often because I keep thinking I do it every month, but I don't do it every month, but I'd like to do it every month. So with all that said, let's open this. Oh, geez. Are you serious? You're going to open that? You are crazy. They say, yeah, crazy. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow. Hot pink Carabo. You know, the Carabo, it is a, a lesser loved car just because it's a 71. Oh, my gosh. 70? Oh, no. I forget my days. It's a 70. And, um... Anyway, she is a beaut, and uh, if you get it like in a beautiful red or a beautiful green or beautiful blue or any beautiful color, it's really a cool car. So give it, give it, don't discount, don't disregard the Carabo, and here she comes, Carabo in pink. Look at that. Always wanted to have this car in pink. One of the frustrations with the Carabo, though, is it's got these goofy doors that don't necessarily fit properly most of the time. This one's got kind of big gaps in it, but I'm not going to open them up, take the chance of bending them. Let's just look at that for a minute. Hot pink. Hot pink is an extremely popular color. Pretty much any mint pink car, if you put it for sale, it's going to sell like in five minutes. People are always on the prowl for the hot pinks. Look at that. That is a beauty. That is a beauty. Wow. That is a beauty. Whoa. -wee. All right. So let's review what we did here today. We've got the hot pink Carabo. We got the Rose Custom Volkswagen. Beautiful. Beautiful. We've got the red Woody Wagon. My friend Todd calls it the Woody Wagon. 31. What do I call it? Custom Woody? Classic Woody? Classic Woody. The Classic Woody. Calls it the Woody Wagon. And there's the Ferrari 312P. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Maybe it'll go good with the pink. I don't know. It doesn't really go good with the pink. Oh dear. What's that? I just noticed. Look at that front fender. Ouch. It's always ouchies on a Hong Kong car. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? So many their beer on it or something a white enamel ford j car from 1968 the purple 36 ford cube classic 36 ford cube the rose mantis the rose mantis 1970 1969 mclaren m6a m6a i wonder what that stands for that m6 business now look at that that's a rose and that's a rose Two different shades, completely different. This one's almost magenta, actually, but it's not. It's rose. It's rose. It's rose. I think so. Light magenta. Okay, blue on the peeping bomb. A blue on the peeping bomb, and purple on the twin mill. That is a bunch of beautiful cars, and the buttons, and the stickers, and that. And this button over here, one more button. And that is a set of cars that are unbelievable. Now, if you have any questions about things you saw today or red line high wheels or even old matchbox, call or text me at 503-956-3708. And that's Pacific time. I live in Portland, Oregon. What you see here today may or may not be for sale on my website, but please do go to toycarcollector.com and check out all the pages, every single one, I demand it. Do it now. Don't do anything else. Or at least go to new slash underscore cars dot htm. And this has been Redline Liberation of 10 Blister Back. You can email me, David, at toycarcollector.com. And remember, I buy old Hot Wheels. I love them. This is what you're seeing here today. Of course, you know that. That's why you're here to look at those. And this has been another Redline Liberation opening. And I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for all the nice comments that everybody's left and the phone calls that people have made. I really appreciate it. Boosts my ego, makes me feel good and all that. And then when people tell me something nice, I tell my wife and she likes it. And 
she won't throw me out of the house this year and I get to keep buying and selling Hot Wheels and collecting Hot Wheels and everything is beautiful. So thanks and you guys have a great Thanksgiving and a great day no matter what time of year it is and whenever you see this video. And uh, appreciate you and, and you guys have a great time. Thank you. Bye now.